In this video, I'll show you how to get started using the new Gen AI activities inside of UiPath Studio. I'll also cover a few uh, glitches and pitfalls because there are some. Let's get to it. So these new activities let you take advantage of Gen AI to perform different types of tasks, typical tasks that you use Gen AI for. And uh, in the documentation page, we can just take a quick look at it. Basically, we have here the different activities, summarize text, generate email, rewrite, translate, language detection, and also PII filtering. So typical uh, Gen AI stuff. And I'm not going to go through each of the activities in detail in, um, in this video. I'll do that in the next one or the next one after that. In this video, we're just going to get things set up so you can start playing with these activities because setup can be a little bit tricky. The way it works, if we scroll to the top here, is that we can see it says integration service activities. Basically, what UiPath has done is they host these activities through integration service. And I think they're doing that in order to be able to bill you for using the activities because you don't need, for example, a chat GPT subscription to use these activities. All of that is handled by UiPath in the background. But if we go to a different documentation page, we can see here that it says that the connector that we'll use to use these activities requires AI units. But I'm running this in a community edition setup. And in community edition, you don't have AI units and it still works so far. So I don't know how long it's going to work, if they're going to actually start charging for this. But for now, you can use it even in Community Edition. It's not going to charge you AI units because you don't have any. And um, so, so let's just start playing with it. So inside Studio, as usual, we have a blank project. This is just completely empty, no uh, special dependencies, nothing, 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 just a plain project. The way we can add these new activities is we can go to the Activities pane and then search for them. And if I search for Gen AI, it's going to show me that some of these activities are available. Now, this is in version 2024.10, the latest release of UiPath Studio as of August. In earlier versions, you may need to go into the uh, uh, package manager and search for the integration service activities and add those. But in this version of Studio, I can simply take, for example, the uh, language detection activity and drag it in. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to add a dependency and it's going to try to find a connection to the integration service. It's not going to find that because it doesn't exist yet. So we can see here, if we go into the project pane of Studio, we can see here that it added this UiPath integration service activities package. That is what connects us to integration service that is going to host these activities. We can also see in the language detection package here that it says that we need to connect to the uh, UiPath Gen AI activities in order to use the uh, language detection activity. So we can click uh, add new connection here. Now, this is the first sort of pitfall. You can see down here at the bottom that out of the two uh, sort of folders that I have inside of my uh, orchestrator, I have my shared folder and my personal work workspace. And I am working in my shared folder right now. If I click Add New Connection, it's going to open orchestrator and it's going to try to add a new connection to these activities. But it's going to do it inside my workspace, not in the shared folder. So I'm just going to close this and then go to my connections page inside of orchestrator you're going to have uh, different uh, sort of products over here on the left i click the uh, integration service product that you will have available it's always there and then uh, we have a number of connectors we have a ton of connectors in fact we have no connections a connection is sort of the implementation or activation of a connector uh, but we don't have that yet we want to create that now so i click add connection and then I can search for the connection that we want to add. That is the Gen AI activities connection. Now there's two Gen AI activities connections that we can create. There's one that is in GA, which is just a plain old regular release. And then there's one that's in preview. We don't want to add that because you need permission to do that. And we don't have that. So I'm just going to click the normal UiPath Gen AI activities here. Then it's going to ask me to connect. And now we can see it says, the shared folder, which is the folder that I, that I had selected inside of, of Orchestrator. So I'll click Connect. And now it's going to create a connection to this uh, UiPath Gen AI Activities package. So if we go back to Studio, what I would expect if I unfold the connections over here in uh, my Data Manager 
is I would like to see, of course, that new connection, but it's not there for some reason. This is another glitch. It's a studio glitch, I think. It's just not updating the data manager with the most current connections. Even if I click the refresh button up here, nothing. It's nothing. And also, the activity that we added before hasn't really detected that we actually did create this connection. I can only manage connections, which will take me into Orchestrator, or add new connection, which will do the exact same and take me into Orchestrator. So if I delete this and uh, go into Activities, take the Language Detection activity and drag it back in, now it's going to detect that I actually had an activity uh, or a connection inside of uh, my uh, integration service. So now I can start using this activity. It still hasn't detected it over here in the connections, by the way, which is just plain odd. So let's try and detect the language here. So I'm going to do my best to add Spanish. So I'll write, uh, hola, me llamo Yere. Three years of Spanish. So, um, and then this uh, language detection activity, if we go to the properties, it's going to output the detected language into a string. So I'll just create a new variable called uh, my detected language. And then we'll do a message box that shows us my detected language like that. So if we run this, hopefully it's going to use integration service and on the back end of that, ChatGPT or something else in order to detect what kind of language is this text that I put in. So let's try and run it. And there we go, it says Spanish. So I know a little Spanish, not a lot, no mucho. So I'll just click okay and we'll go back into Studio. It sort of completed the execution. If I go back to Data Manager, now we have the connection. If we go back into Orchestrator and say, okay, this is a really sh name for this connection, I can uh, rename it. Here is Gen AI Activities. Connection, let's call it that. And we can go back to Studio. We can do a refresh. Nothing, just nothing. Now, what I've found is if you tickle it a little bit, so for example, by running it again, maybe we'll see it change when I run it here. Let's just try to do it. Now we didn't get to see that, but I'm sure that once we get back into Studio now, it found out that I renamed the connection inside of uh, integration service. It's still going to say it's the default uh, yebe at yespersons.net connection that was the original name, but it'll still work. It's just a little bit annoying that you have to jump through these different hoops in order for things to align between Studio and integration services. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a big difference. If you like my channel, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell. And also, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. I'm thinking about doing like sort of a Q&A video. So uh, I might, you know, collect different questions from different videos and then turn them into a video that I'll publish whenever I'm ready to do that. There's more stuff coming up in the next days and weeks. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching this one.